uh, this is already a mix of different classes na. Um, A, B, and E kasi yung handle ko ngayon. And I cannot distinguish kung sino yung A, sino yung B, at sino yung E. Uh, siguro, let's get to have a roll call para makita natin kung talagang nandyan, lang, nandyan talagang nakikijoin na nakikinig. Or, inon lang nagjoin tapos iniwan lang yung cellphone right i i i know i know how how students think i know how i uh, i was once a student then dati so yun so get to see some few names that are not uh in, wala doon last time sa kan sa wala doon last time sa una nating uh orientation um i'm not sure if there are still parents here or joining or parents who are around also at the same time that i'm discussing this one Uh, still have four more minutes. Miss Alena Benoha, what section are you? Anong sec- Sir E. E. Alright, so may E ng isa si. Miss Lianyo, anong section mo? A po. A, as in apple or eagle? Hindi ko Apple siya. po. Alright, A, A, so agility. Miss Labag, are you E? Di- e, e ka, di ba? Asra? Ni, iniwan ni Asra yung cellphone niya. AFK ata to. Hoy Ashra. <laughs> uh, ito si Miss Ngao. Or what section are you? Sir A. A. So dalawa ng A. Wala pang B ah. Miss, Miss Bongseo. Anong section ka? Or AFK din si Miss Bongseo. Miss Torado. What section are you? Sir B. B. Alright. So may B ng isa. Uh-huh, may B na. Are you related with Doctorado na grade 10 ba yun ngayon? Manong mo ba iso na? We know. How are you related with that one? Torado? Yes, ah, okay, okay. Kasinsin mo da, Julian? Na Versosa? Yes, sir. Ah, okay, sige. Uh, J Badival, what section are you? D, sir. A, as in apple? B. Ay, D. B, as in boy. Okay, okay. Yes, sir. B, kasi so your advisor is Ma'am Jessa who will be coming back on April, uh, no, March 28 after her uh, two months of her maternity leave. So, yun. Okay, nag-reply para si Miss Bongsiu through chat. Alright. Uh, Mr. Badival, are you related with the Badival of the grade 9 right now? Kasinsin, sir. Ah, kasinsin mo. Okay, okay. Sa nandal ko matiso na di last year. Mr. Vlogs. Ito si Mr. Alwaden. Alwaden Vlogs. Yung pangalan niya. What section are you? Sir, A. A. Uh, Jorain. E, Cru- e, sir. I, e, e. As in, e as in eagle. Alright. Jorain yes, de la Cruz. What section are you? Sir, E. E. Are you related with Jorain na uh, nasa US? Magkalapit. Well, hindi po. Magkalapit kay kasi ng pangalan. Jorain kasi siya. De la Cruz din. <laughs> Uh, kina Rena Lee. Uh, kalapit kasi ng pangalan. Jory siya, Jory. Alright, Miss Benito, what section are you? Sir E. E. Ang dami ng E ah. Parang ito yung konti na last time. At is kayo yung marami ngayon. Miss Karamto, what section are you? A, sir. A, as an apple. Miss Milo, yes, sir. what section are you? Anong section ka? AFK ata si Miss Milo. Miss Ignacio, what section are you? Sir E. E, ang dami niyong E ah. Are you supporting your brother's race tomorrow? <laughs> yes, sir. Ah, so, kasi I'll be there also supporting Team Bike Rock kasi. Yeah, parehas kasi. Pero kuya mo, di ba si Franz? Yes, sir. Ah, okay, okay. Kasi umiitim na dahil sa pagbabike. <laughs> anyway, Miss Alsa and Megan, are, what section are you? Mm, ala, AFK din ito. Mr. Oktubre, oh, first time meron akong na-encounter na lalak. Mr. Oktubre, what section are you? Sir E. E, ang dami nyong E. Ah. Very good, yung letter E. Ah. Parang ano bang ginawa ni Sir Jumong sa inyo? <laughs> Mr. Dagas, what section are you, Mr. Dagas? Na, AFK din si Mr. Dagas. Sir E. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you for an E. So, ang dami nyong E. Bayak, Miss Bayaksan, What section are you? 
Sir A. A. Wala, parang konti ng B, ah. Ranzen Sukdad, what section are you? Sir A. A, tapos. Si Miss Raisa, what section are you? Sir B. B. Oh, parang tatlo pa lang yung B, ah. Yes, uh, Miss Felix, what section are you? Hello? Miss Felix? FK din ata to. Agility right. po, sir. A, alright. Trisha, yung section ka? Sir A. E, alright. So, I'm seeing that there are many section E's right now. Uh, yun. Some are still coming over and it's already 9.01. Um... We are we are around 25 here right now sa klase and as, as, per, my, as per my experience before no uh, habang tumatagal yung klase uh konti yung nagjo-join and I'm hoping that uh we had a great start we having around 25 no I'm I'm thinking na sana until the end of the last day that we'll be discussing the lesson, and dyan pa rin kayo. Alright? Now, this morning, I get to uh, see some others who are actually have passed already yung lessons 1 to 3 nila. Uh, they have dropped down the hard copy of their activities just yesterday or maybe this morning doon sa school. Now, some others have even already made a video about making the kite, which is your performance task, which is okay. Okay naman yun. Uh, yun, so, Yun na nga, pero uh, Carl, asan si Carl? Nag-PM din si Carl sa akin, si Gawi din. Um, hinahanap niya din, uh, nag-PM din siya last time sa akin, asking if uh, pwede, ko ba, pwede niya bang advance ng gawin yung mga activities or hintayin pa na magdi-discuss muna sa kagagawin yung activities. Now, para medyo, kwan tayo no? Medyo, ano ba tawag nito? Medyo, para easier siguro sa, sa inyo, Uh, ganito na lang yung kwa natin. If you think that maybe the activity is really easy for you to do without any more explanation, just like your activity one, it's just asking about yung nadisgrasya ng mga videos, no? And just asking your opinion, how do you feel about it and those different stuff. It doesn't need parang... It's, it's self and, kwa, no? so, uh, self-explanatory na siya na magets mo na agad kung ano yung, kwa, yung, yung instructions. However, um, for others, other stuff that are quite medyo mahirap pag hindi na-discuss, maybe uh, you can, it's easier for you to answer those activities if I get to discuss it first before you're going to answer. So, okay lang din yung nag-advance ng lessons 1, 2, 3 na nagpasa ngayon kasi she also have joined naman ngayon sa discussion nito. Pero anything that we can get here right now, uh, anything that we can get here right now, Siguro hindi mo hindi mo na madadagdag yung answers mo kasi yun na nga naipasa mo na. So this discuss ko ngayon muna yung lessons 1 to 3. All right. Um Do you know the kwan? Do you know the activities that will be having sa kwan sa sa Festival of Talents? Have you ever heard of that? Kasi kahapon I I sent something in your GC. Uh, yes, sir. nakita niyo ba yun? Yes, kasi yes, some yes, some others are kwan, some others are are showing their intent na gusto nilang mag-join. However, until right now, uh, wala pa akong na-receive sa email ko ng mga submitted photos. Kasi ako yung sa photography. Kami ni Ma'am Wailin. Now, if you're interested, kasi iniisip ko, you'll be having a long weekend next week. Alright? Long weekend next week. So, baka doon nyo gagawin, tapos pagbalik after that long weekend, sa nyo ipapas. Okay lang din yun. But I hope that you can get to pass that one on... on uh, on April 3, kasi that's the Sunday, and Monday yung April 5, uh, April 4, tapos Tuesday yung April 5, which is actually the 28th anniversary of CCDC. And anybody that we will be judging and winning on that contest, ipopost namin doon sa live. Diba, you get to see that on Monday, usually Mondays, meron tayong CCDC sa radio. And I was able to talk also that one before. So, if you're interested in like, magaling kayong magluto, join the uh, uh, cooking contest ni Sir JP. If you are magaling kayong kumanta, then join the contest of Ma'am J... Uh, Ma'am J. Boon. <laughs> Ma'am Sharon and Sir J. Boon. <laughs> Yun. So, sa, sa poetry, spoken poetry, I think it's it's Ma'am Ma Kelly. 
uh, ano po bang mga contest? TikTok uh, challenge, it's with uh, Sir uh, Jumuel and even yung drawing. So, bahala kayo kung anong gusto yung drawing. Poster making, watercolor, uh, any, any, kung ano, any medium. Kung mixed medium, pwede din. Um, for photography, get to pass it through me. So, kung ano man yung ginagamit yung email na pagpasa nyo sa akin ng mga activities nyo is the same email that you'll be submitting your photos. However, please put caption about it. Ano po bang mga updates natin ngayon? Alright. I usually schedule again, no? For those who just joined today, I usually schedule my classes every Tuesdays. Sometimes, pag kailangan talaga, I add that Thursday. Um, anybody who's be go who will be going home by next week sa Semana Santa? Meron ba? Anybody who can unmute themselves? Meron bang uuwi sa inyo? Uuwi ng maaga? May I know? So, walang uuwi. Lahat magsistay lang. Kasi, I was thinking na maybe baka may uuwi ng Tuesday or maraming uuwi ng Tuesday or Wednesday, then, I'll be rescheduling that one on an earlier date. Pero if wala, I'll stick with that Tuesday next week na naman tayo ulit mag-uusap. Alright. Would that be okay? Okay lang ba? Yes, sir. Okay yes, lang? sir. Alright. May I know um, people here joining the class who are using mobile phones? Uh, you just get to un unmute. For those who are using mobile phones, you get to just unmute para makita ko lang kung sinong mga nag-unmute. Mga mobile phone users. Sigurad. Alright, so meron kwan. Alright, ito. Sige, you can now un uh, mute yourselves right now. May I know this time of those who are using laptops as their way for for this kwan ngayon? Laptop. Sinong gumagamit ng laptop? You can unmute yourselves. Alright, so Mr. Dangan, Miss Bugsio, Miss Torado, Miss uh, Mr. Vlogs, ito si Mr. Alwaden. Uh, Miss Milo Miss Okdad Can you fish? Alright um, It's okay Both no Kung ano man uh, May I know this time We can unmute First yourselves May I know this time If Who are using Mobile data connection Please Yung mga nagagamit Ng mobile data lang Hindi internet connection Mobile data May I know Unmute yourselves If you are Using a mobile data connection Uy so far, uh, merong isa lang na nag-unmute, nag si Miss De La Cruz lang nag-unmute. So, yun, isa lang. Alright, you can now uh, mute yourself, Miss De La Cruz. Now, anybody who's using here an internet connection, yung mga internet connection, you can unmute yourself. Me, sir. Alright, so, medyo marami kayong internet connection. Alright, you can, you can now unmute yourselves. Uh, you can now mute yourselves pala. Alright. Thank you very much for kwan no kasi I'm trying to see a survey of how things would go on para malalaman ko kung yung kwan kasi no uh, three sections tayo dapat and in a one section is around 40 so kung three three times 40 would that that would be around 120 students pero right now we're only 27 all right so yun now, okay, sige, so much with the announcements and even the updates. I'll be updating you later on along be, uh, before we get to end this class. However, um, I'd like to introduce to you to a site uh, named Kahoot. If you, are in, uh, if you are familiar with Kahoot, are you familiar with Kahoot? Natry nyo na ba ito? No, sir. Kahoot. No, sir. Uh, let me share to you my screen of Kahoot. I hope that you get to see that one now that I'm sharing. Uh, just wait for it. Baka naglo-loading lang. Kahoot. Let's get to play a game first before we're going to... Kwan? Yan. Yan. Kahoot.com. Nakita nyo na yung screen? Yes, please. Uh, yes, sir. Alright. So, would you like to play a game for a while just for us to be able to refresh ourselves? Hindi ito, Kwan. Hindi ito pataasan ng score kasi hindi ko pa naman ituro, na ituro ito. So, anything goes, no? Kung ano lang yung ma-remember nyo. Would you, would you like to play? Laro tayo? Isasend ko yung link. Yes, sir. send ko yung yes, link sa, sa chat. Alright? I'll be sending to you the site sa chat. That would be kahoot.it. Kahoot.it. Now, you get to click that link para ipunta kayo doon sa site na yun. Alright? Kahoot.it. Alright. If you are, kan, nandun sa... 
So group uh doon na. So group chat. Nakita niyo na ba? Yes, sir. Nakita niyo na yung kahot.it? Alright? Alright, yes, ha can have you clicked that one already? Na-click niyo na ba? Yes, Sige, click niyo na yung kan, click niyo na yung kahot.it. Tapos you'll you'll be directed to a site wherein it asks for a game pin. Uh, it's asking for a game pin. Tama? Hintayin niyo muna yes, yung game sir. pin ko. Ta naglo-loading din yung internet ko. <laughs> Your kahot is now loading. Nakikita niyo? All right. Just wait for the game pin. I'll be sending to you the game pin. Hala. All right. Sige. Punta tayo dito. Now, as soon as you get to join, no? Uh, I'd like you to write your name. Yung talagang pangalan nyo. Huwag yung kalukohang pangalan. Para malalaman lang din natin. But are you seeing my... Ah, sige. Kasi nakasend pa kalak sa ibang kwa, no? Site. Especially for the mobile phone user. All right. The game pin would be... Oh, wait lang. I-type ko na lang or i-ikon ko na. Uh, wait for wait for it. Aha. Uh -huh. 4635950. 4 4635950. All right. 4635950 that would be game pin. You can now input that one and place your name there. That'll be waiting for you. To Tara na si Miss Asra, si Lorraine, naka-join na. Hintayin ko muna mo yung iba, just wait uh, for si Miss Trisha, Ranzen, alright, ang dami nang nag-join. Saka ko isa-start ano, ito, so, Dulpimar, Gwen, uh, ito, Neil Ezer, Cliff, alright, so, Tonya, Jay, sino pa? Meron pa bang papasok? O, tingnan natin kung meron pang pasok, kung wala na... Maybe I can start this one. Alright, si Jeremiah. Alena. Pa. Alright, siguro maybe in the last 10 seconds, no? Tingnan natin, there are 16 players right now. 17, alright. Very good. Just real, kakapapasok lang. Let's wait for the others. Baka loading din sila sa internet nila. Alright, merong kakajoin. Uy, nawala yung isa. Na -dis na DC ata. 16 na lang yung players natin. Alright, maybe we can start. Wala na atang magjo-join. Baka hahabol na lang isa. Alright, we can start right now. I'll be starting the game, alright? Ayun, it's starting now. Can you now see this one? 3, 2, 1. Alright, the question will be this one. Alright, double points agad ito pala. Alright. Hmm. What you're reading right now? Read agad. Kasi mawawala yan. O, oh, nandiyan na yung choices. Oh. Just find one answer. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Alright? So, ayun. Alright, so, yung tama dyan, answer is... Yung red, color red. Alright? So, makikita nyo kung sino kayo dyan sa mga answer ng red. Alright. In next ko na, punta tayo sa number 2. So, so far, ito yung score. O, oh, si Miss Gwen, ang top 1. Alright? Continue natin. Alright. So, ito yung mga top, top 3. Alright? Tatay. Next tayo. Bawi-bawi. Alright. True or false? When you increase mass, then acceleration will decrease. True or false? 4, 3, 2, 1. Alright, nakahabol. 18 answers. Alright, so so far, merong 12 na nag-true at 6 na nag-false. The answer would be true. Alright, let's try to see the score. Oh, na-overtaken si Miss Gwen ni Jusril. Alright, so so far, these are the top 5. Nakikita nyo ba yung screen? Can I hear voices? Nakikita nyo ba yung screen? Yes, yes, sir. Right. Very good, very good. Alright, so let's get to play the third one. Sampung question lang ito. This is the tendency of an object to resist motion. Alright, find your answer. 20 seconds, 15. Mm. 
Last 10 seconds. Three, two, one. All right. So we have 19 answers right now. The answer would be inertia, which is the first lesson for today. So, apat lang yung nakakuha ng correct answer. Alright, inertia. So, tingnan natin kung sino yung bagong top 5 ngayon. Alright, so far na-retain ni Miss... Uh, Miss ba to? Miss Jezreel itong, ano, itong uh, top spot. So, habol-habol yung iba kasi meron mga times 2 dyan. Alright, so let's go to the fourth... Uh, fourth, less, uh, fourth question. Which among the following has greater inertia? A rat, a dog, a carabao, or a cat. Alright. 4, 3, 2, 1. Alright. So, nakahabol. Alright. We have 18 answers. The answer would be... What's the correct answer? Ala, bakit dalawa? And it, to, be to be honest, the answer here would be the carabao. Kasi si carabao yung pinakamabigat. So, siya yung mas maraming inertia. Bakit answer, may answer akong rat? Nagkamali ako dito sa paggawa ng question. But anyway, let's try to see... Who is the who are the top five right now? Alright, need retain pa rin. Eh, bakit nawala na si Miss Gwen? Alright, so Trisha Rizile is the highest climber. So humahabul habul it. Alright, let's get to go to the next one. Alright. It states that in every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. Alright, so what would that be? Alright, we have twenty seconds for you to find an answer for this one. Uh, we have love inertia, love acceleration, love interaction, or law of Hammurabi. Alright, five seconds. Four, three, two, one, and we're done. Alright, the correct answer would be the law of interaction. There were nine correct, uh, nine who got the correct answer. So, alam yung hindi ta, hindi kasali si law of Hammurabi dyan kasi sa AP yun. Alright, let's get to see who are the top five. Na-retain pa rin, Miss Jastrel ito, pero nawala na yung mga earlier top 5 this time. Right, okay lang yan. Habul-habul tayo. Up to 8th place, Anna is the highest climber. Alright, let's go to the next one. Alright, 6. O, ito, double points ito. Baka pwedeng bumawi yung mga kwan. Suppose you're an astronaut floating in the outer space. What will happen if you were to push by your fellow astronaut? So we have 20 seconds for this one to find. Suppose you are an astronaut floating in an outer in the outer space. What will happen if you were pushed by your fellow astronaut? Tinulak ka daw, nasa outer space ka nagpo float float doon. Tapos tinulak ka. Last 3 seconds. All right, so the correct ala bakit bakit dalawang answer dito? The correct answer would be Yung, you will travel in an opposite direction in a straight line. That would be the correct answer. Pero bakit may babay na answer? Alright. Anyway, anyway, there were 15 no out of 19 who correct the uh, got the correct answer. Let's try to see who are the top 5 right now. Ay, yun na times 2. Na overtake ka ni Miss Chrysel. No? Times 2. Pero konti lang. It's just a matter of 72 points. Alright. So, let's get to continue some more. Isaac Newton is a German scientist. True or true or false? Isaac Newton is a German scientist. True or false? All right, the answer would be false. Hindi po siya German. He is an English scientist. Taga England po siya. All right, so sixteen got the correct answer, while three others have the different answers. Let's try to see. Sino yung bagong top kwan? Alright, tumabul si, si kwan, si Cliff. Right, top 4 right now. Alright, let's try to see some more. Na-retain lata nung dalawa yung scores nila. Alright, so let's try to continue some more. Oh, last two questions. Oh, double points ito. Panghabol na naman sa mga hahabol. What was invented by car manufacturers to lessen inertia? What was invented by the car manufacturers to lessen inertia? Windshield, brakes, seat belt, or rubber tires. Again, windshield, brakes, seat belt, or rubber tires. Times two po ito, double points. Double points. Alright, five seconds. And the answer would be. Kung ano yung answer nyo? The answer would be seat belt. Alright, so. 
anim yung nakakuha lang out of the 19. So try natin tingnan ngayon ano yung standing. Ayun, ni-retain ulit ni Mr. Uh, Miss Jessrel tong kanya, ang layo na 2000 points yung difference. All right? Let's try to go to the second to the last question. Double points ulit. Ang pambawi. What is the relationship between force and acceleration? Choices are inversely proportional, it's complicated, directly proportional, or single. So, ano yung relationship nila? Ni force at saka ni acceleration. It's complicated, single, married, inversely proportional, directly proportional. Alright, ano ba? Right, last second. Alright, let's try to see. The answer would be directly proportional. Pag malakas yung force mo, malakas din acceleration ng isang bagay. Alright? The more force you put, the more acceleration is also happening to that object. Alright? Let's try to see. 11 ang nakakuha out of the 19. Let's try to see the new standing. Ay, yun. Highest climber, Miss Lorraine. Alright. Oh, last question. Last question ito. I think the last question will be only one. Uh, one uh, single kwan hindi double points. Let's try to see who will retain the in the top five. Last question. Oh, double points pala pang habol. What law of motion do you think governs in skydiving? Alam niyo skydiving nagfo float sa hangin yung parang ganito sa picture. All right. Fourth law, first law, third law, or second law? All right. Last five seconds. Alright, last one. Alright, so pumasok na lahat ng 19 answer. The answer would be the third law or that would be your law of interaction. Alright, so anim lang yung nakakuha. Let's try to see now and congratulate the top 5 of this game. Alright, top 3 si Miss Lorraine. Very good. Top 2 si Miss Ngao. And top 1 si... Ranzen, oy, <laughs> parang nagpatalo lang. Runner-up si Clef at saka si Jezreel. Alright, parang nagpatalo lang si Ranzen nung first. Pero humabol din sa dulo. Alright, I'll be stopping this one already. And let's get to proceed once again on the room. Alright, so ayun. Congratulations. Alright, I'll be leaving this one right now. And let's go back to the room. Alright, so how do you see the game? Kumusta yung game? Hello? Sir, enjoyable. Okay lang? Kumusta? First time nyo bang nag-join ng mga ganong uh, nakalaro sa kahoot? Yes, sir. Is it first time? Yes, sir. sir. Alright. So, how do you see it? Is it okay? Maganda ba? <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Alright. So, yes, sir. parang... Pero, it's, it's okay, no? It's okay for you to not be on the top 5 kasi hindi ko pa naman itinuro ito. Medyo magdududa na ako pag puma, sumali, ah, tinuro ko na tapos hindi pa nyo pa rin get so, doon tayo. So, yeah, no? Um, so much more about it. Let's get to na proceed to the lesson proper. Alright, so, i-share ko na yung entire screen ko. Alright, so, we'll be, we'll be having some more of that one next time, no? If, if you like, you like it more, some more of that one bef next time. <laughs> Yes sir. All right. Yes sir. All right, sige. Let's let's get to enjoy kan. Medyo hassle lang na gumawa pero sige, it's okay if uh, yan yung gusto nyo. All right. So uh, uh, at least hindi na kayo ngayon kan. You're not already um not familiar with Kahoot. You're already familiar with this one. So, let's talk about your lessons 1 to 3. However, medyo malab mahaba ito and we already have spent mga 23 minutes na from the time. All right. So, punta tayo sa lesson 1. Love motions. You have your kan. Your uh your modules with you beside you. Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. Okay. Let's proceed. All right. The person behind. So, yung true or false kanina about asking if uh, si Sir Isaac Newton ba is a German scientist. No, he is not a German scientist. He is an English scientist. Pag English ka, saan ka galing? Saan galing yung taong English? America. <laughs> America, no? Sir, Britain. Britain. But what Britain. specific part in Britain? Kasi Britain is divided. Sir, England. Right, very good. Very good. England. Kasi Britain is actually a United Kingdom. So it has four kingdoms, I believe. We have Scotland. We have England. We have... Ano pa yung isa? Wales? Wales, I think. And meron pa yung isa eh. Northern Ireland. 
So, yun. So, pag Ireland, Irish. Pag England, English. Pag Wales, Welsh. No, ganun. So, galing sa England si Mr. Isaac Newton. Alright? So, meron tayong sinasabi nating Newton's three laws of motion. Newton actually is the pioneer of those things that is happening right now to us. Yung nangyayari sa atin every day, meron talagang nangyayaring law of motion. What comes into your mind when you talk about motion? Ano bang meaning ng motion? Anybody who can, can uh, just unmute themselves? Pag, pag pumasok sa isip nyo, somebody just ask you, what is motion? What does it mean? Mm-hmm. Meron tayong maraming sudyante ngayon. Their movement. Alright, so anything that moves no, is, mo- is motion. So tama yun. So basta anything that moves. And we believe that here on earth, ang daming nagmo-move. Even the earth is moving. Last time, have you have experienced earthquake? Na-experience nyo ba yung last time? Gumalaw, gumal, yes. gumalaw si Earth eh. Alright, yes, so sir. we'll be talking with that. Uh, we'll be talking more about earthquake on your second grading. However, eto, loss of motion. So, ganito. Yung three laws of motion ni Newton is divided into three laws. Tawag natin dyan is the law of motion of Isaac Newton. So, first law, second law, third law. Just be mindful. Itong mga na, pangalan ng mga law na ito ay hindi pwedeng pagbalikta, baliktad, baliktad rin. Ang first law, talagang kay inertia yan, law of inertia. Yung second law, talagang kay law of acceleration yan. Yung third law, talagang kay law of interaction yan. Hindi po pwedeng magkapalit-palit yan na sabihin mo, first law is law of interaction or first law, law of acceleration. Hindi po pwede. Now, if you have your, your, your modules with you, you already have answers to those blanks there that you have. Diba, meron akong pinasabi dyan na ano pangalan ng first law. What's the name of the first law? Do you see that one in your modules right now? Kita nyo ba sa modules nyo right now? Yes, sir. Alright, so yun na. Yun na nga. Pwede nyo nang sulatan yun. Sa so, mga nakikita nyo ngayon sa screen. Alright, so those are the names of the laws that we have. Can I now move to the next? I don't worry. I'm giving uh, a copy of this slide sa GC for your as your basis or your reference. Okay lang ba? You'd like to have a copy of this slide that I'm I'm using right now? Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. All right. Sige, let's get to proceed. Doon lang naman yung answer. What does the first law state? Anybody has an idea of what's the first law state or the law of inter- uh, the law of inertia? Anong sinasabi ng inertia? Meron ba kayong answer? Meron kasing nagpas na ng answer eh. Sino ba yung nag- nag-PM sa akin kaninang umaga? Somebody just PM me na nagpasa siya, nag-drop na siya eh. What is the first law state? Ano kaya? Anybody? Merong naka-answer na nito that maybe you can you can you can read about it. Or maybe somebody is using a laptop and alt tab kayo diyan tapos naginugol niyo yung first law of Newton. Anybody would like to share to us that one? All right, meron kaya? Wala, ang tahimik. Medyo, medyo kinakabahan kasi ako pag tahimik eh. Kasi nag-disconnect-disconnect ako. Kaya hindi ko alam kung connected pa ba ako. Or disconnected na ako. Kaya sometimes it's, it's, it's nice for me to hear voices. Yun, nakakamiss kasi talaga yung face-to-face. Yeah. But anyway, let me share to you the first law. Maybe later on sa second law, kayo naman yung mag-state. Sabi na first law, it states that an object at rest will continue to be at rest. And an object in motion will continue to be in motion unless acted upon by an external force. Alright. Sa dami ng sinabi nito, may naintindihan ba kayo? Or try to read it. May nagets ba kayo? As ang daming sinabi nito eh. Ada ba ti nagets yun dito eh? <laughs> Ada, sir. Uh, Anya ti, kano? Si Jay nag-answer ti Ada. Uh, mabalin mo ba nga? I-share tayo di naawatam dito eh. Anybody? Or that person who just mentioned na dati na gets na, okay lang agkamali, okay lang kamali. Hay, habang adaak pa nga teacher nga agkorek ti niya man ti uh, naawatan nyo, isugarod nga dati teacher, okay lang agkamali kanya. Niya. So, niya, kumusta? Niya ti naawatan dito eh. It states that an object at rest will continue to be at rest and an object in motion will continue to be in motion. 
Mm. Kasi sabi ko nga, marami itong sinabi nito at ako pag ako pag estudyante ito at ang dami itong nabasang mga ito na address address tapos in motion in motion tapos external force. Mukha yung ibig sabihin nito. Kasi we are always governed by this a law of inertia every day. Right? When you talk about your law of inertia, ito yung sinasabi na ang isang bagay na gumagalaw, gusto niya, gumagalaw na lang yan forever. Alright? Ang isang bagay na gumagalaw, dapat gumagalaw siya forever. Let's say for example, if an object is sliding, sliding on a snow, or maybe a person who is sliding on a snow, will continue to be sliding and sliding and sliding and sliding until forever. Yun. Or, ang isang object naman na hindi gumagalaw ay hindi yan gagalaw forever. Do you, do you, do you agree? Isang bagay na hindi gumagalaw, hindi yan gagalaw forever. Would you agree? Or, yes, sir. Or, depends. Or, it depends. Oh, yung nag-depend naman, nagsabi ng depend, and pa, bakit mo sinasabing it depends? What, what, on what grounds does it depend on? Oh, hello? <laughs> Salita kayo? Para mas ma-lively yung ka natin. Anybody from, from the fun? I, I get to hear voices of females. How, kumusta naman yung mga lalaki? Itaas naman natin yung bandera ng mga lalaki dyan na sumali at mag, magmusalita. Alright. Alright. Think of it this way. Sabi ko nga, ang isang bagay na gumagalaw, gumagalaw yan forever. Isang bagay naman na hindi gumagalaw, hindi din yan gagalaw forever. It only happens in an ideal state. Dito kasi sa earth, maraming mga external forces, which is already have mentioned here in the last words of this statement. Ang daming external forces. Andyan si gravity. Alam nyo ba si gravity is a force? Yes, sir. All right, all right. Yeah, yes, si gravity. Yes. So, yun nga, si gravity yung humihila sa atin pababa. Alam nyo ba yung friction? Friction. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Ano yung, uh, uh, give me an example of a friction na nangyayari. Friction. Ano ba yung friction? Rubbing your hand. Alright, or rubbing your hand. Alright, so when you rub your hand, what do you feel? Anong nangyayari pag nirarub niyo yung hand? What do you feel? Oh, no. Subukan nyo ngayon i-rub yung dalawang kamay nyo. Ano yung nafe-feel nyo? Sir, pudot-pudot. Alright, so umiinit na na, Miss Benito. So, tama yun. Um, just imagine, friction happens when there is a rough surface. Rough po na surface. Hindi man natin masyadong makita yan na rough. Pero if you're going to look at that one in a microscope, makikita natin na rough pala yung skin natin. At some point, kahit ilang lotion mong nilagayan, meron talagang konting roughness yung skin natin. And because of that roughness, because of that, no, nagkakaroon tayo ng friction force. And that's the reason why it turns into heat later on, umiinit. Pag naglalakad tayo, the ground is kinda rough and our chinelas is also kinda rough. With friction, we are able to walk on the ground. Paano kaya pag walang friction? Paano kaya pag walang friction? Anong mangyayari? It's gonna be cold without the heat. All right, it's gonna be cold without the heat. Or if you're if you're walking and there is no friction, what happens to you? What happens to you if you get to kan uh, walk? Tapos walang friction. Madulas. All right, very good. Madulas, tama no? So tama yon. Kasi pag imagine mo, talagang makintab yung ground and yung sapatos mo rin pudpud. Or yung chinelas mo pudpud, tapos makintab na masyado yung ground, slide ka talaga. So, walang friction doon, so therefore, slide ka. So, you can say that later on, no? Paano mo masasabi? Is friction important or not? It's important po, sir. It's important. It's important, alright. At some point, yes, it's important kasi pag wala ngang friction, hindi tayo makakapagtayo. Hindi tayo makakapaglakad. Right? slide tayo forever. Alright? However, friction is not also very important in terms of engines. 
Pag maraming friction doon sa makina mo, iinat yan agad kasi nga, merong mga rough areas doon na hindi siya masyadong smooth na mag-iikot-ikot. But the point is that, when you talk about inertia, balik tayo doon sa isang bagay na gumagalaw, pur- gagalaw yan forever. And isang bagay na hindi gumagalaw, hindi yan gagalaw forever. <coughs> sa outer space is an ideal way for us to be able to know this law of inertia. Sabi ko nga, pag pumunta ka doon sa outer space, nagpo-float ka sa outer space, now imagine yourself floating in the outer space. Walang gravity, walang friction doon. Paano pag tinulak ka ng kasama mong astronaut? Anong mangyayari? Tinulak ka or sinipa ka ng isang kaibigan mong astronaut na nagpo-float-float kayo doon sa outer space, tapos sinipa ka. What happens to you? What do you think would happen? Any would any would anybody would like to guess? Hmm? Hello. Meron ba? Hala. Baka DC ako. Hindi naman. Anybody from the guys? <coughs> anybody? Medyo ko nga eh. <laughs> Hindi ako at is pag ako lang yung laging nagsasalita. Kasi I'd like to get uh, um, comments about you. Even if it's wrong, even if it's just a guess, it's okay for me to magkakamali kayo. Kasi that's the reason why I'm here. For me to be able to correct whatever is your mga... Hindi nyo na, na ako nagigets. But just to give you an idea, when you talk about the law of inertia, pag nasa outer space ka, it's already ideal there. Walang external force doon. Pag sinipa ka ng kasama mo doon sa outer space na napo-float kayo sa outer space, doon mo malalaman na pag sinipa ka at gumagalaw ka, gagalaw ka forever. Ano mangyayari doon? Pag sinipa ka ng kasama mo, palayo ng earth. Sabi nga dito ni Law of Inertia, an object in motion will continue to be in motion. Pag sinipa ka ng kaibigan mo, forever kang gagalaw na gagalaw, palayo doon sa earth in a straight line. Dito kasi, sa earth, whenever you throw a ball, the ball should continue to move dapat yan. No? If you're going to throw the ball on a straight line, the ball ideally should be moving on a straight line. But because there is an external force that acted on it, meron tayong gravity, ginuyod ni gravity, yung ball pababa, kaya tumitigil na, nagta-stop at uh, nagta-travel si ball. Pero pag walang gravity, saan kaya pupunta si ball pag tinapon mo? In that case, mangyayari po doon, it will continue to move and move and move and move until an external force is acted on it. Now, how about this at rest? Isang bagay na hindi gumagalaw, hindi daw gagalaw forever. Would you agree with this one? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Alright. Have you seen the video that I sent to you along with your USB about the egg drop challenge? Kasi Hindi pinag- pa pinagawa, no, ko, pinagawa ko ito sa, kwan, sa mga students ko before. Alright. Just imagine. Imagine natin, no? May baso sa baba. Glass. Alright? Can you imagine? May glass sa baba. Sa glass na yon pinatungan natin ng pinggan. Tapos yung pinggan na yon pinatungan natin ng tissue roll. Alam nyo yung, yung parang roll ng tissue pag naubos na yung naiiwan na roll? Yes. Right. yes, sir. Tapos sa, sa top ng tissue roll, lalagyan natin ng itlog. Alright? So imagine, at the bottom there is a glass, tapos yung pinggan, tapos yung tissue roll, tapos yung itlog na sa taas. Alright. If I'm going to pull very swiftly, biglaan yung, yung pinggan, saan kaya malalaglag? si egg. Masushoot ko kaya si egg sa baso? Masushoot ko kaya si egg sa baso? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Alright. In that case, that would be the answer. Yes. Anong mangyayari doon? Sabi kasi ni Law of Motion, hindi daw gagalaw ang isang bagay pag an object at rest will continue to be at rest. If you get to see the position of that egg on top, no? Pag bigla mong ginalaw 
no yung yung pinggan sa baba you know that that egg didn't go anywhere it's still the same position at it as it was before because in line siya doon sa baso sa bababa the point is that kung wala lang sanang gravity kahit bigla mong hinila yung kan yung yung pinggan sa baba that egg will still stay there on that same position on that same spot kasi tama yung sinabi ni Isaac Newton ng object na hindi gumagalaw hindi talaga yan gagalaw Nalaglag lang kasi yung egg is because there's an external force that acted on it which is gravity. All right? Pero saan ba natin magagamit si Nagets niyo ba yung law of inertia? Isang bagay na hindi gumagalaw, hindi gagalaw. Ang isang bagay na gumagalaw, gagalaw yan forever. Yes, sir. Do you get the yes, point? Yes, sir. All right, saan ba natin magagamit si inertia? All right? But before we're going to talk about inertia, no magagamit natin actually si inertia sa road safety. Kaya pag makita nyo dyan, no, if you're going to see on your module, you get to see there, first offense, second offense of those mga yung car seat law. No? Kasi, dahil sa first law of inertia ni Isaac Newton, ang daming nadidiscrash siya. That's the reason that's the first activity na nangyari sa'yo. So for road safety, nalaman nila that because of inertia, We need to lessen inertia for us to be able to lessen accidents. And there now rise yung invention of brakes, seat belts, and airbags. Guys, especially yung malalaki dyan. Uh, ako kasi nagbabike ako. I usually go bike every day. Na try nyo ba na you are moving very fast? You are pedaling, pedaling very fast. Sino bang mga bikers dito? Sino bang nagbabike dito mga kasama ko? Baka nakikita ko kayo sa daan, hindi ko lang kayo kasi makamukaan. Or baka may mga babae ding magbabike dito. Meron ba? Wala, walang nagbabike. Alright, ganito. Pero just imagine, nagbabike ako, mabilis akong nagbike. Sabi kasi ni Isaac Newton, an object in motion continues to be in motion. So ako, nagmumove ako, dapat forever akong nagmumove. Unless an external force is acted on me. Ngayon, sa bilis kong nagpipedal-pedal, I used my external force and pull the brakes biglaan. Anong mangyayari sa akin? Sir, ma i forward <laughs> Oin, ano, Makita yun nga. Nakita, nakakita kayo ba ti biker nga na itayab nga pa forward nga ti mambling-tambling? Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Say, sayang, sayang lang talaga. Tahan yung han ko kami na record dyan. Ngam, nag-bike kami ni Sir Jumwell, especially for se section E. Nag-bike kami ni Sir Jumwell Nagbabike kami ti trail, tapos tinangyari e jay, na ikalso nga jay frontier na timambling a di jay sangok, ni <laughs> Sir Jumwil. So, <laughs> timambling so na, katsayang lang, tahan ko nga na video, ng aramidak kong mga meme di ay, ng grabik, han ko amun, no, katawa akbaw, no, ag, maasi akta, timambling so na, nabangking jay manibila na, <laughs> <laughs> han kami nga pa, 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 papan kami pa lang han kami kay paawid DJ so tinangyari DJ nagmo-move gamin ni Sir Sabuno so an, an object moving will continue to be move tata ada the external force na kalso di frontier na si mang at di rear tire na ti mambling ni Sir Jumwell pasango DJ so <laughs> kanayon ko nga malagip di ya ngam nya tinangyari DJ is because of your tinatawag nating law of inertia no kasi may external force. Nakalso si Sir Jumwell eh. Katumambling. <laughs> Saka ayun. So, yan nangyari doon. Ganon din mangyayari. For example, if you are moving in a moving car. A moving car will continue to move and move and move. Until yung si car na bangga sa poste. Anong mangyayari doon sa'yo? Pag nasa loob ka ng kotse. Sir, may ipa-forward ka mo. Tama. ba diba? Kasi yung nga sabi, ang isang object na gumagalaw, gagalaw forever yan. Kaya nangyari doon, yung gumagalaw si car at biglang nag-stop. Kasi nga, dating gumagalaw na si car, ikaw na yung gumalaw ngayon. Naiporward ka, naiporwak ka pa sango. Tap no malesen, ti inner siya nga mang mangyari, ti karakas ta, ininvento na tat ta, ti seatbelt. Tap no no uray, paspas ka, nagpataray, nabangga ka man ti puste or pader, imbes nga maitayab ka pa sango, adati igam kinyam, tap no malesen dyan inner siya, isujay seat belt. Ang ti problema gamin ti seat belt. What happens to you if your seat what, what's the reason why airbags right now are are installed? Kasi yung seat belt kasi medyo uh, pa na yun eh. Old na si seat belt. Ano bang naririnig niyo sa kay seat belt? 
what do you hear from seat belts? Seat belts kasi pag if you're going to use them, no, and in, in, in road safety, pag mabilis masyado yung pinatakbo mo at bigla kang nag-stop kasi nabangga ka, it may break your ribs, mababali yung ribs mo. Kasi dahil nga din sa inertia, bigla ka kasi hinawakan ni uh, seat belt. That's the reason why para to lessen the impact during during accidents, airbags are actually being installed right now para malesen yung inertia. So, an object in motion will continue to be in motion unless there's an external force acted on it. That would be your brakes, your seat belts, and your airbags. Alright. Marami na ba akong pinasok na information sa inyo na baka hindi nyo na mahabol, hindi nyo magets? Sir, nuggets. Okay lang? Sir, nuggets. Okay lang? Yes, sir. Alright. Inertia yes, naman, sir. sabi dito, it depends on mass. It depends on mass. Kaya meron tayong question kanina sa yung kahot na nilaro nyo, kung sino yung mas malaking inertia. Si karabaw, si dog, si rat, or ano yung isa. Pero sabi dito, sa statement na to, the bigger the mass, the greater the inertia. Alright? Mas malaki, mas mabigat yung isang bagay, mas marami siyang inertia. Imaginin nyo yung sarili nyo, nandyan kayo, nakasteady, nakatayo, binangga kayo ng kotse at binangga kayo ng truck. Sinong mas malaki yung inertia? Truck or kotse? Truck. Sir, truck. Truck. No, eh, talagang wasak na wasak ka pag truck yung nakabangga sa'yo. Kasi nga si truck mas malaki, the greater the mass, the greater the inertia. Simply that one. Alright? So, yun lang. Yun lang yung law of inertia natin. So, application natin, pang road safety siya. Alright? So, yes, you can watch more of the videos of this one. Kasi nga, sinasabi ko nga doon sa video na sa activity one nyo. No? Those people don't know about the law of motion or the law of inertia. That's the reason why what happened to that video that you are to watch, kawawa talaga yung mga na-discussion doon. So, how do you feel about it? Uh, what do you think? Ano ba? Ano bang kulang nila? Bakit hindi nila mag-gets na dapat magdahan-dahan? Diba? Oh, isa pang example, have you tried walking and having a glass full of water? Oh, yes, naglalakad kayo tapos yes, glass na may puno ng tubig. Pag nagagalaw kayo, continue moving on, natatapon ba yung tubig? Yes, sir. Alright, sabihin natin, smooth yung paglakad nyo. Smooth na smooth yung paglakad nyo. Hindi nyo natatapon yung, yung tubig. Alright? So, an object in motion continues to be in motion. Kasi naglalakad ka, nakikilakad din si, si baso sa'yo na may tubig. What happens if bigla kang nag-stop? What happens to the water inside the, uh, the glass? Sir, matatapon. All right. Matatapon. Kasi nga, may external force na biglang nagpa-stop sa kanya. Kasi kaila, ang gusto kasi ng isang object, pag gumagalaw siya, galaw lang yun forever. Pero bigla mo kasing nag-stop, so biglang nag address may external force na nangyari, kaya merong inertia dun, natapon yung tubig. Alright? Parehas din ng mga ganong bagay. Alright? Do you get the point? Questions? Yes, sir. Questions yes, for this sir. one? None, sir. None so far? None, sir. All right, so it's already 12 minutes before 11 at nasa first part pa lang tayo ng lesson 1. All right, anyway, um uh is it okay for you to just hold hold me off around siguro mga past 11? Uh yes, siguro ayoko kasi yes, ayoko kasi mag 1 hour and 30 minutes to be honest kasi that's too much for you to to digest already. How many hours do you do you kwan? Do you have your lessons with your teachers before? Tigi ilang oras? Sir, 1 hour 30 minutes din. Alright, 1 hour 30 minutes. But how are you holding off? Hindi ba kayo nabobored na sa ganong haba? Kasi kung gusto ko, kung pwedeng, pwedeng 1 hour lang, 1 hour lang dapat sana. Anyway, let's get to continue. Alright, punta tayo sa second law. Oh, ano yung sinasabi ng second law? The law, second law is actually something that you have something to uh, to solve on. Kasi equation kasi ito. Pero hindi ko ibibigay sa inyo. So, safe na yung mga hindi hindi masyadong magaling sa so solving. Pero meron kasing sinosolve dito. Alright? This is related to the one that I'm mentioning earlier. It states that acceleration is directly proportional to force and inversely proportional to mass. Alam nyo yung acceleration? Yung buelo? No? And yes, other terms, sir. alam nyo yung word na buelo? Yes, sir. Uh, Bumubuelo. Yes. Alright. The more force, kasi itong si force, yung F dito, Related to A, the more force you apply, the more buelo it will happen. Correct? Diba? 
pag tumulak ka ng isang pag tumulak pag for example merong kotse tumirik right nagstop jay kotse tahan nga guman andar tatakat iduron mo may may sakang nga duron basity force mo therefore expect that your acceleration will also be small correct ng tata yes, adu kayo nga nagtulong-tulong adu ti force tata so what do you expect with your acceleration greater or lesser adu kayo tata adu kayo nga nagtulong-tulong nga nagduron ijay kotse so meaning adu ti force tata ano nya ti mangyari ijay acceleration uh, greater, greater or lesser yes lesser greater all right greater, greater. The more ka nga agtulak, the more mat nga pumaspas jay acceleration. The more ka yung adu kayo agtulak, mas paspas ti acceleration. Do you get the point? The more force, the more acceleration. Yun lang naman yun. Alright? However, baga na dito eh, ni mass is inversely proportional to acceleration. Napadas yu nga tumaray. Baka ikot-ikot dito BSU. Lagi akong nasa hapon sa BSU kasi tumatambay doon sa malapit sa ubal. Baka I get to see you there, I just don't know your faces. But lagi ako nandoon. So, na-try yung bang ag-jogging? Yes, sir. All right, yes, try. sir. Ah, yes, amukmat nga siguro yes, tayo sir. aming ag-jogging. No, ag-jogging kayo, ag-may-may sa, no? with only your clothes and whatever that is, alright? Kumusta si acceleration kaya pag nag-jogging kayo? Kumusta yung takbo nyo? Okay lang, di ba? Pag tumatakbo kayo, yes, alright? Yes, sir. Paano pag nagja-jogging kayo this time, pero nilagyan kayo ng backpack na puno ng bato? Oh, may adabat yung gararami tita kas tatata. Ararami din magamit tita tita high school ya. Yeah. <laughs> Ikabkabilan mi ti bato, jay bag ti classmate mi. <laughs> alright, tata, agja-jogging ka, ada ti backpack mo nga na puno ti bato. Tata, kumusta ni acceleration mo no agja-jogging ka? Kumapsot or pumigsa? Kumapsut, di ba? Kasi nga, nadagdagan ka ng mas. Mas bumibigat ka, mas hihina yung buwelo mo. Mas magaan ka, mas mabilis yung buwelo mo. Can you imagine uh, a jeep na kargado, sumangsang at di talubas, kargado nga jeep sumangsang at di talubas, compared to may sang a jeep nga awanti karga na nga sumangsang at di talubas, sino nga tati mas mayati buwelo na, napigsa ti uh, acceleration na? Jay kargado or jay haan nga kargado? Haan nga kargado. Haan nga kargado. Alright. Because yung haan nga kargado has lesser mass, so lesser mass, greater acceleration. More mass, lesser acceleration. Kaya nga sabi dito, inversely proportional. Gets nyo na ba? Si law yes, of acceleration? Yes, sir. Right. Ganun lang naman kasi. Uh, yun nga, pag like, kargado, mabigat, kukunti yung acceleration. Pag magaan ka at lesser yung mass, mas mabilis kang mag-take off. Yun lang yun. Alright? So, saan ba natin magagamit si law of acceleration? Sports. Sports. Kaya nga, if you get to see me, no, uh, especially for those who are 7B before, grabe yung tabako dati. But I'm proud to say that because of my hobby right now, I, I lost 5 kilos. So, mas gumagaan ako, ha? mas na, kaya kong mabagkat yung sarili ko. Transportation, yung nga sabi ko, pag kargado at hindi kargado, overloading yung jeep, tapos sang atan, syempre, mahina yung buwelo nun. No? Mas maganda pa atang maglakad na lang kasi mas mabilis pa yung naglalakad kesa sumang uh, tumatakbo yun. So, mga activities of daily living natin, we always get to encounter them. Alright, questions about the second law. Gets you na ba yung second law? Yes, sir. Alright. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Alright. Sige, let's go to proceed with your third law. Third law. What does the third law state? Ano bang pangalan na third law again? If you can still remember, what's the name of the third law? Action and reaction. Alright, action, action and reaction. Tama yun. Pero as a whole, what's the name of the third law? Law of? Law of what? Law of force and acceleration. Motion. Law of motion, no? No, not law of force and acceleration. Alright, law of interaction. Tama yun, yung nagsabi ng law of interaction. It's a law of interaction. So, pag blanco pa yung answer nyo dyan sa kwan, sa module, no? Pwede nyo nang lagyan ng law of interaction. What does it state? Sabi dito, it states that in every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. In every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Naniniwala ba kayo sa ganitong uh, pangyayari? 
Pag tinulak nyo ang pader, tinutulak din kayo ng pader. Mamati kayo ba, Jay? Yes, sir. So, idurdurun mo, TJ, pa, uh, idurdurun mo, Jay, pader. Jay, pader, met ka, nagdurdurun kinyam. Would you, would you, kan? Would you agree? Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Right? Sir. Well, it's true. Tama yun. Pag tinulak mo kasi si pader, tinutulak ka rin ni pader. Kasi kung gaano kalakas mo tinulak si pader, yun din yung kalakas niya na tinutulak ka. Alright? In every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Bakit equal? The same kasi yung strength nyo. Pag tinulak mo ng malakas si pader, si pader tutulak din ng malakas sa'yo. Bakit sabi dito opposite reaction? Kasi pag tinulak mo si pader going to the right, saan kaya nagtutulak si pader? Going to the left. Alright, yeah. tama yun. Opposite direction siya. Tinulak mo siya to the right, so therefore si pader nagtutulak sa'yo to the left. So, let me share to you this, ano? uh, wait lang, skip natin muna to. Drawing-drawing tayo. Meron ba akong drawing dito? Meron ako pang drawing ata eh. Aha, paano ba mag-drawing? Nakikita niyo may screen ko? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hindi ako magaling mag-drawing, ah. Baka... So, sa mga magaling mag-drawing dyan, join na kayo sa contest ni Sir Jumuel. Ay, na di, ay. Apay na ito, eh. Maglo-loading. Guray. O, Jay. Uh, pasinsya, ah. Anak nga nalaing mag-drawing. Dito, Jay Pader. O, oh, baga tayo. Dito, Jay Pader. Ay, ni. Apay nga na, na in peace. Paano ba pa, pa kapalin to? Ayun. Ah, Highlighter, marker. Marker na lang. Ito. Ito si pader. Oh. Tapos ito yung ground. Alright? Sabi natin, sino ba pwede nating example in? Oh, stick-stick na lang kasi hindi ako marunong mag-growing. Tinulak mo yung pader. Tinulak mo yung pader in this direction going to the right. So, si pader, in what direction does the pader tulak you again? To the? Opposite. Opposite. Left. Therefore, going to the left. So, gaano ka kalakas tumulak sa kanya going sa pader is the same din yung lakas na tulak balik sa'yo. Do you know boxing? Yes, sir. Do you know yes, boxing? Alright. Yes, yes, sir. Boxing, di ba? O, ilaban natin, ilagay natin dito. Yung mga mahilig mag-boxing sa una na, na sa dati na nakikipag-meet sa kwan. Nakikipag-meet sa baptisi. So, Pancing bag. O, oh, pancing bag ito. Kung gaano mo kalakas sinuntok si pancing bag, is the same lakas din na binabalik sa'yo si pancing bag. Have you ever tried punching a wall? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Oh. Sinuntok mo yung pader. Kung gaano ka nga lakas na sinuntok yung pader, ganon din kalakas yung sakit na naramdam mo. Tama? Yes, sir. Oh, ganun, yes, sir. Ganun kasi yun. Ha? In every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Kung mahina mong sinuntok si pader, mahina din yung balik ni pader sa'yo. Tama? Paano mo malalaman yun? Kasi konti lang yung sakit na naramdaman mo. Pero, pag sinuntok mo ng malakas si pader, expected na malakas din yung balik ni pader sa'yo. And therefore, paano mo malalaman na malakas? Kasi, masakit yung kamay mo. Tama? Have you experienced that one? Yes, sir. Oh, yun, yun lang yun. No? Yun lang yung mga very genius uh, the, uh, law ni Isaac Newton na nangyayari pala sa atin ito ang ganito. No? Kasi merong joke kasi dyan sa law of interaction. Eh. Pero baka corny lang. Hindi ko na lang i-share. <laughs> yun. So, that one. No? So, sabi kasi in every action there's an equal and opposite reaction. So, dapat pag crush ka ng crush mo, dapat crush ka rin ng crush mo. Di ba? Dapat. In every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Pag hindi ka crush ng crush mo, crush mo siya, pero hindi ka crush ng crush mo, sabihin mo sa kanya that you are violating the third law of Isaac Newton, which is the law of interaction. Dapat pag crush kita, crush mo rin ako. Yun lang yan. Corny, di ba? <laughs> so, continue. <laughs> continue tayo. Continue tayo. Continue tayo. Alright? So, yun. Pag hindi ka crush ng crush mo, sabihin mo... Sabi ni Sir, you are violating the third law of Isaac Newton, which is the law of interaction, that in every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Pag crush kita, dapat crush mo rin ako. Yun. Yun yung, da- yun yung dapat. At anyway, uh, okay. 
So, saan na ba tayo? Uh, law of interaction. So, importance of third law, sports, technology, transportation, activities of daily living. It's already 11. Uh, are you still okay? Okay pa ba kayo? Yes, sir. Alright, kasi yes, sir. Pang, uh, gusto nyo 5 minutes break muna, saka tayo babalik ng 9.06. Meron gustong kumain, may kwan. Okay lang ba? Gusto nyo mag-break muna tayo or diretso na tayo? Diretso. Diretso. Okay, diretso na tayo. So, upon 20, lesson 2. Okay lang? Kaya pa ba? Sabihin nyo lang. Kasi if, if hindi na kaya, I will stop. Kasi it's okay. Kasi sir, that's no. Okay lang, lang sir. I will, not, I will not force you to to ingest, to be ingesting so much information and later on you don't understand anything. Lesson 2, work and energy. Ano ba yung work? Ano ba work? Para sa inyo, ano bang work? Ano ba yung work? Ano ba yung work? Ano bang work ni father nyo, ni mother nyo? Ano ba yun? It's not the work that we are referring to, yung mga trabaho, hindi po yun. When you talk about uh, work, this is what you call your mechanical work in physics. So how much how much work do you apply in something for you to be able to finish it? Tapos we'll relate that one to energy. But when you talk about work, it's the transfer of energy. See, work and energy are related. You can only work if you have energy. Tama? Makakatrabaho ka ba no walang energy? No sir. Hindi, no, sir. Talaga, never, never. <laughs> hindi ka talaga makakatrabaho pag wala kang energy. Kaya alam ko sa inyo, meron pang hindi kumakain ng breakfast nila. Nya. Yeah. Oh, baka kan kayo ah, baka guilty kayo diyan. Pero kumain kayo ng breakfast nyo. Pero ako gutom na rin ako eh. Pero sige lang para sa bata, para sa bayan. All right. It's a transfer of energy. Work, this is transfer of energy. However, when you talk about the energy, it's ability to do work. Sabi ko nga, you can only work if you have energy. So, paano to related? Work is a transfer of energy. Energy is the ability to do work. Yun. So, makaka-work ka lang pag meron kang energy. And pag may energy ka, nakaka-work ka. Yun lang yung relationship ng itong dalawa. To be honest, we have an equation for this one that you are to solve. But then again, I will not be giving something for you. Uh, I'm leaving this one to you na lang in your, in your kwano. Hopefully, we have, we'll be having face-to-face -face in, in the near future that your next science teacher will be able to explain this one to you. Pero I, I, I don't like to bombard you with many something to solve for science though meron tayong to solve later on pero hindi muna ito all right when you talk about your energy meron po tayong dalawang energy potential at saka kinetic have you ever heard of this one before yes sir right. yes sir narinig niyo na ito sa first uh, first a uh, first year grade 7 niyo yung mga under sa akin i think na naistorya ko ito nagsusolve-solve pa yes, tayo dati sir. yung 1 half yes, sir. yes sir all right kasi uh, did did mom ni sell especially from ccdc's did Ma'am Nisel have mentioned this one? Itong types of energy? Meron ba? D did she share this one to you? Ashra, an an share ko ba dito di last year? Yes, sir. Kung malagip ya. Ngamuin sa. Kasi ikaw lang yung kilala kong kwan. At saka si Mr. Dagas, ay Miss Rafa Agustin who were under me before. Sa grade 7. Alright, so... Let's talk about your potential energy and your kinetic energy. Energy at rest. Meaning, ang isang bagay na hindi gumagalaw, may energy yan. Tapos, in contrary din, si kinetic energy, isang bagay na gumagalaw, may energy din yan. Alright? So, lahat bagay, may energy. Alright? Paano ba natin malalaman? Let's talk about your potential energy first. Your potential energy is dependent on mass and height. If you can still remember, uh, it has an equation of potential energy is equal to mass times gravity times height. However, your potential energy is related, dependent on your mass and height. The greater the mass, mas mabigat yung isang bagay, mas malaki yung energy niya. Or, pas mas, pag mas mataas na nga nakasabit or naka Mas higher yung ground nung isang bagay, mas malaki din yung potential energy na. You will see this one in the next photo. Ay, hindi ko pa wala pinakita. Bakit? Hala? Alright. Imagine nyo ganito para ma-explain ko yung potential energy. Alright. 
may dalawang bola. Right? One is a basketball and one is a bowling ball. Nakakita na ba kayo ng bowling ball? Yes, sir. Naka- nakalaro na ba kayo sa Puyat Sport doon sa taas ng anong center mall yun? Kasi mayroong bowling doon eh. Pero may imagine nyo yung bowling ball and tsaka yung basketball. Right? Imagine that one. Who is heavier? Uh, bowling ball bowling or basketball? Ball. Bowling ball. Bowling ball, right? Bowling. bowling ball. Let's say for example, if we're going to put that one, mga one feet above you, one feet above you, at ilaglag natin ng tigi isa isa o, oh. una inilaglag sa ulo mo si basketball, tapos mamaya naman nilaglag sa ulo nyo si bowling ball, saan kaya mas greater yung mafipil mong sakit? Bowling ball or uh, kwa? or basketball pag nilaglag yun sa ulo mm, bowling, bowling ball bowling ball. definitely bowling ball kasi nga mas malaki yung energy ni bowling ball kasi nga mas mabigat siya the greater the mass the greater the potential energy pag binitin mo si bowling ball at saka si basketball diyan sa let's say for example sa sa kisame niyo at nalaglag yan sa ulo mo mafi-feel mo na mas malaki yung potential energy ni bowling ball kasi mas mabigat siya Alright, do you get the point of the potential energy? Yes, yes sir. sir. Alright, yun lang yun. Now, how about height? Paano naman si height? Si height naman kasi, let's say for example, imagine this time, parehas na basketball. Alright? Pero, yung isang basketball, nilagay lang natin mga 1 meter above you. Tapos, yung isang basketball, nilagay natin 10 meters above you, saan ang mas masakit pag nalaglag yung dalawa sa ulo mo? Yung 1 meter above you or 10 meters above you? 10 meters. Alright, 10 meters. Kasi nga, the more height there is, the greater is also the potential energy. Right? So, nakuha nyo na yung point na potential energy? Yes, sir. Alright. Yes, sir. Ganoon lang yung potential energy. Hindi sila gumagalaw because they are at rest, pero they have in energy inside them. We have different types of your potential energy. We have your gravitational potential energy. The one that I'm explaining is gravitational. Kasi ginihila yun ng gravity pag nalaglag yun sa mga ulo nyo. But we have also what you call your chemical potential. Ito yung mga sinasabi nating mga chemicals na meron silang mga energy sa loob nila. Now, ano ba yung nagbibigay ng energy sa atin? Mm, yun yung love nyo eh. Ano kaya yung nagbibigay ng energy sa atin? Food. All right. food. 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 Alright. Tama. Food. Food has many chemicals inside it. Tama. And it has the potential to give us energy. Kaya nga, tinatawag natin chemical potential energy. Fuel. A crudo. Diba? Chemical siya. But it has the potential energy to be able to run engines. Gunpowder. Diba? Chemical siya. Pag sumabog si gunpowder, lilipad ang bala sa mga baril. Chemical potential energy. And lastly, we have also what you call your elastic potential energy. Anything that is stretchy, diba? we have, naglaro, nakalaro ba kayo ng, ng rubber bands? Yes, yes. yes. Rubber band, sabi natin rubber band. Pag hinila nyo yung rubber band ng sabi natin 10 centimeters, at yung isa naman, hinila mo ng 20 centimeters, saan ang mas masakit pag pinitik niya yun. Yung 20, 10, centimeters. Right, 20 centimeters. The more elastic the object is, the more potential energy it can give you. So, ganun lang po yung potential energy. Get you na? Potential? Punta yes, tayo kay sir. kinetic? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, punta tayo kay kinetic. Si kinetic naman, dependent siya sa mass and velocity. So, si kinetic energy is the energy in motion. Any object that is moving has kinetic energy. All right. Let's say for example, truck at saka kotse. Parehas yung bilis ng takbo nila. Parehas yung bilis ng takbo nila. Pero syempre, magkakaiba ng bigat si, si truck at saka si kotse. Sino kaya ang mas malaking damage pag nabangga siya? Truck or kotse? Sir, they truck. Truck, tama. Kasi mas malaki nga yung mass ni truck, mas malaki din yung kinetic energy niya. Yun lang yun. Alright? So, so much with the mass. Let's go now to velocity. Vel- velocity is simply your speed. No? Pag mas mabilis kang tumakbo, mas malaki interne- uh, kinetic energy mo. Pag mahina ka tumakbo, mas lesser yung kinetic energy mo. Na-try nyo ba na dalawang runners, 
Mabilis yung isa, yung isa mabagal, tapos nabangga kayo. Saan ang mas masakit? Saan ka mas lilipad? Sa mabilis na runner or sa mabagal na runner? Mabilis, sir. Right. Sa mabilis. Why? Because the greater the velocity or the greater the speed, the greater the kinetic energy. Gets nyo ba yun? Gets yes, nyo yun? Sir. Yes, sir. Alright, so yes, sir. nag-gets nyo na yun. Alright, so ito lang. Tapos na yung lesson 2. Alright, hinga-hinga muna ng kwan. Hinga-hinga muna kayo. Okay lang ba kayo? Are you already hungry? Ako, gutom na ako, to be honest. Gutom na ako, actually, to be honest. Gutom na ako kasi I just, I just uh, drank my coffee and just peanut butter at saka bread lang. Yun na, pero gutom na ako eh. Sana hindi uulan mamayang hapon. Umuulan kasi ng hapon eh. Bakit kaya? Hmm. Okay na tayo? Yes, sir. Are, are we good? Yes, Alright, sige. Continue tayo, no? Sa lesson 3. Sound. Uh, malagip mo, Idi, Ashra, yung may pina, pinanood akong video. Kina Trisha, kina, uh, yung mga 7B dati. May pinanood akong yes, video nung isang magandang kumakanta sa loob ng, kwan, ng recording studio. Malagip, yes, Idi, ay. Yes, sir. Tapos, Idi, yes, sir. In, 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 yes, Idi, sir. awanan, Jay, sound engineer, ka talaga nga nang nangag mo talaga, Jay, boses, tiko, ha. <laughs> <laughs> Malala niyo yan. Uh, yan, yan, yan na yan. Pero uh, this is a continuation of the lesson that we had in your grade 7. I'm sorry for those who are not under me. Uh, kumusta? How 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 did you go with your lesson in sound with with Ma'am Nisel? For the others. Ma'am, I sir okay naman. Uh, what what was your what was something that yeah, that stuck in your mind when you are or your your solve uh, your you're having your lesson with sound. Ano yung tumatak sa utak nyo na naaalala nyo? Meron ba? Nagsusolve. I solve. So you're solving for the speed of sound? Did you try solving a speed of sound? Wala? Alright, sige. Di bali. Well, uh, meron din siya actually solving nito pero hindi ko rin ibibigay ito. Pero ito yung, ito yung continuation ng mga sound na na uh, pa natin na na lesson na last time. But when you talk about sound, it's just vibration. When you get to talk right now and feel the throat, no, feel your area of your throat, what do you what do you feel whenever you speak? What do you feel? Vibration. There is Sir, vibration. 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 Right. Hindi pwedeng magkaroon ng sound ng walang vibration. Alright? Yung sound natin, it has ma- we have many types of your waves. We have your mechanical and your electromagnetic, but your sound is actually a mechanical wave. So, pag mechanical siya, kakailanganin niya ng daan para makapag-travel siya. It needs a medium or a pathway for it to travel. And sound can only travel through solid, liquid, and gas. Alam niyo to yung three phases of matter? Alam niyo naman, di ba? Yes, solid, liquid, and gas. Yes, sir. Alright, solid, liquid, and gas lang po ang pwedeng pag-travelan ni sound. Natry niyo bang sumigaw sa baba ng tubig? Yes sir. Yes sir. Yes, sir. Naririnig niyo ba yung sumisigaw sa loob baba ng tubig na parehas kang nasa nasa baba ng tubig? Do you hear that yes, person? Yes sir. 'Di ba naririnig? Yes, sir. So meaning alam natin na gumagalaw din si sound sa tubig. Have you tried uh oh ito yung mga tumatambay sa baptisi. Kasi lagi din ako doon kasi malapit bahay namin doon. Have you tried um you're very far. Alam niyo yung railings doon, yung 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 mahabang mahabang bakal doon na railings ng daanan? Yes, yes, sir. Tapos, alam nyo yung, if you get to put your ear on on one part of the railing and a, a friend who is really very far and just try to tap the railings, do you hear the sound? Yes, sir. Di ba? Nakakarinig yes, sir. ka rin. Meaning, yes, pwede din palang mag-travel si sound sa solid. No? So, yun yung mga kwan. So, kailangan ni sound ng ah, pathway para sa kanya para mag, pwede kayong marinig. However, wala pa, wala pa naman siguro nakatry sa atin na pumunta ng outer space. Pero ang tanong ko, sa outer space ba, will sound travel? No, sir. Alright. So, no, sir. Sa mga na-under ko, alam nilang no. Kasi sa outer space po, wala pong solid, liquid, and gas sa space na yun. Therefore, pag walang solid particles, walang liquid particles, at walang gas particles sa outer space, walang paglalakaran or walang pathway si sound and therefore sound will not travel there 
Uray agpukpukaw ka ijay tinapig sa Uray nga rumrumwaran jay langs mo Kanjay dilam ijay nga agpukpukaw Awanti makadengag kinyam ijay Because in the outer space There's no such thing as Solid, liquid, and gas particles For the sound to travel Inya ti usu-usaran Inya nga ti makikita yung usu-usaran Ti mga astronauts Tap no makapag uh, kwada Makapag uh, communicate da with other astronauts Inya ti usaran da Technology Alright, they have this technology, they use the radios, no? Because radio is now an electromagnetic uh, type of wave, which is the opposite of a mechanical wave. Pero we'll be talking in that one more about it. Para yun, pero sa atin lang, for sound, kailangan niya talaga ng daanan, no? Hindi siya pwedeng mag-travel ng walang daanan. Alright, so, it needs a medium for it to travel. Later on, tanong ko, hmm, reserve ko tong tanong, saan mas mabilis mag-travel si sound? Solid, liquid, or gas? Saan kaya? Sir, solid. Solid? Sir, solid. Solid? Solid. Liquid? Gas. Gas. Alright. So, oh, you have your guesses, no? You have your guesses. Pero, let's try to answer that one later. Ay, nandito pala yung tanong eh. Bakit ko tinanong na advance? Alright. Which among the three phases do you think will sound travel? Somebody answered solid. Some others mentioned liquid. Some others mentioned gas. Ano kayong correct answer? Anong sinabi dito? Sa, ano yung tamang answer sa tanong na yun? Solid. Alright. The answer would be solid. Alam nyo kasi sa solid, alam nyo yung mga particles magkakalapit-lapit. ba? Diba? Sa liquid naman, medyo may konting layo-layo. Kay gas naman, medyo malayo sila. Tama? Huh? If you get to imagine the particles of a solid, liquid, and gas, tama? Yes, sir. However, bakit mas mabilis sa solid? Kasi, pag ang isang particle nag-vibrate, Natatamaan agad yung mga malapit na mga particles kaya napatransmit agad yung sound to the next particle. If one particle vibrates, the other particle right away vibrates because they are so close with each other. So when one vibrates, the rest vibrates. However, for liquid, merong konting distansya siya, no? Kaya pag ito nag-vibrate, kailangan mong medyo lakasan para matbangga niya yung mga ibang mga particles for the sound to travel. And lastly, saan pinakamahinang mag-travel si sound? It's on gas. Because it needs a very strong energy for you to be able to vibrate one particle to hit another vi particle and vibrate this one and hit other particle for you to be able to transmit sound. Nag-gets nyo yung point? Bakit mas mabilis si solid? Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. Bakit kaya? Because of the word? Anong yung nandito? Oh, you get to see? Particles. Particles are closer to each other. When they are closer to each other, there is better vibration and travel of sound. So, na-answer na natin yung question na sinong mas mabilis. And again, what's the answer? Kung sinong mas mabilis? Solid. Right. solid. Very good. Solid. Alright. And this solid. time, pero mas mabilis pa pala kay liquid kaysa kay gas, di ba? So, pag nagsumigaw ka sa baba ng tubig, parehas ka yung nasa baba ng tubig, mas mabilis mag-travel si sound. Pero pag sigaw mo, nakainom ka rin ng tubig. Na-try nyo yun. <laughs> Kasi yung pool, pag sumigaw ka, imbes na sagsigaw mo ka at nakainom ka rin ng tubig. Tapos yes, na, sir. Tapos na film mo, bakit medyo uminit yung tubig? Anong duda nyo dun? <laughs> Apa yung pumod po? Pumod po dun dyan ito. Danong ti swimming pool. Amo yun. <laughs> Please don't do that. <laughs> Baka dun tinag-isbo, tapos nag-riaw ka. So, na, naspak. Alright. I have your characteristics of sound. We have your pitch. Narinig niyo yung word of pitch? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Alright. So, pitch yung parang highness and lowness of sound. Alam niyo yung babaeng mataas yung boses niya. Ganun? Ariana Grande. Oh, Ariana Grande. For example. Ano yun? High pitch, low pitch? High pitch. High pitch. High pitch. Narinig niyo ba mag-sound si yung, yung boses ng karabaw or cow? Yes, yes, sir. Ang, yes, ang kapal, sir. Ang, ang kapal masyado. Anun? Yeah, ha? Lowness. So, ano yun? High pitch, low, low pitch? Low pitch. Low pitch. Low pitch. Low. Alright. So, yun yung low pitch, high niche. So, yun lang yung characteristic ng sound. Alam nyo ba na nakakabasag yung boses ng kwan? Nang... Do you know that voices can yes, actually sir. break glasses? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. yes, sir. Totoo yan. That's the reason why I'd like you to look at their activity for, for sound about a small guy Nakita niyo ba? Napanood niyo na ba 'yun? 
Nabasag, yes, nabasag niya yung kwan. Nabasag niya yung ba- kwan. Nabasag niya yung uh, yung goblet, Mas- yung yun yun, nabasag niya, di ba? Anong ginawa niya doon? Anong nangyari doon? Bakit paano niya nabasag? Hmm? Pero if you are asking if totoo ba na kayang-kayang magbasag ng boses, ayan, vibration. Tama. Pag na-match mo yung frequency ng glass at saka yung boses mo, it will vibrate very strong that it will match your frequency of your voice and that object and it will break. Or more than that frequency. So, yun. Yun yung sinasabi nila. No? Kaya, to, kung merong nagtatanong, Sir, ba, tatoo bang nakakabasag yung boses ng, kwan, ng, ng glasses? Yes, it's true. Only if you get to match the, the frequency and even or higher frequency than that object. Kaya makumbasag. Have you ever seen like movies like X-Men? Yung mga pa- superpower, superpowers? Yes, sir. Diba? Yes, Pag sir. merong sumigaw, talagang yes. lilipad ka? Yes, sir. Alright? Talaga. Kasi may energy si sound. Sound is actually an energy. Have you ever put yourself near a very big speaker? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Tapos talagang yung bug, 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 bug. Talaga ka, para ka rin nalilipad, lipad, lipad, di ba? No? Because of the vibration, the strength of the coin. Alright, so yun yung pitch. However, another characteristics of sound is your loudness or intensity. Simply, this is your volume. Mm, si Kwan ko eh, malala ko dito si Ma'am Nicelle eh, kasi pag nagsausap doon sa loob ng Kwan, loob ng, ng faculty, she, she whispers, ganun ngayon, kasi minsan, minsan napapraning ako nung anong pinag-uusapan nila. Kasi very, very soft yung voice nila. Very low yung volume. Very low yung loudness or very low yung intensity. Pero nakakita naman kayo siguro ng teacher nyo, pinagalitan nyo, ah, nagalit sa inyo or inasar nyo. Tapos the voice will be really very... Ha? Huh? Okay. Isa na ako doon sa 7B, kung malala nyo. <laughs> But you get to see that your loudness or intensity is just about your volume. So it's just, uh, quiet voice or loud voice. No? So if you turn up the volume, intensity or loudness will be also increase. If you... Uh, Pull down the volume, then loudness or intensity will decrease. Yun yun. Alright? Characteristics of sound. Ano saan pa ba tayo? So, question naman dito. Your sound, the, the speed it can travel, is affected by your temperature. I think tinuro ko na to sa grade 7 eh. Alright. Saan mas mabilis mag-travel si sound? Sa mainit or sa malamig? Guess. Yes. Mainit. Ma- cold. So, mainit. Right. mainit. May nagsabing mainit, meron din nag-answer cold. Alright. Gano'n pa kaka-cold na siya sa'yo? Anyway. Alright, sige. Uh, saan kaya? Sa mainit or sa cold? Alright. Think of it this way. Mainit. Uh, La Union, mainit, malamig? Mainit. Sir, mainit. 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 Alright. Dito sa atin sa, uh, sa La Trinidad, dito sa Cordillera, sa Benguet, mainit, malamig? Malamig, sir. Malamig. Sa malamig. Dito sa atin, mainit sa La Union. Saan kaya mas faster na mag-travel si Sound? Sa La Union or dito sa atin? Sir, sa La Union. Alright, let's try to see the answer of this question. Ala, wala palang answer to. Sorry. <laughs> Ang correct answer dito is that sa mainit, mas, mas mabilis na mag-travel si Sound. Mas mainit, mas paspas na mag-travel si Sound. Yun lang yung point doon. Kaya nga, pag sa gabi ngay, pag i-compare mo yung tahimik, pagiging tahimik ng Benguet compared sa tahimik ng La Union pag gabi, mas talagang tahimik ang Benguet. Kasi, it's a cold environment wherein sound will travel not fast. Mabagal ang travel ng sound. Therefore, ang tahimik talaga pag gabi dito compared pag nasa La Union ka. Kasi mainit doon. Just think about it. The, the hotter the environment, no? the cold uh, the hotter the environment the faster the sound will travel right so we continue so when you talk about the study of sound it's called acoustics so physics yan branch of physics that studies sound right acoustic kaya merong sinatabing mga acoustic guitar acoustic drums those different stuff it's because of acoustics all right we have three phenomena of sound right Can you can you see here? We have reflection and refraction. Di ba, last na ito? We still have six more minutes. Okay, baba kayo. Hala, DC ata ako. Okay. Uh, okay lang, okay lang. Bibilisin yes, ko to. Sir. Alright. Alright. When you talk about your reflection of sound, this is the bouncing back of the sound. 
Let's say for example, if I get to talk right now and there's a wall in front of me, the sound is actually bouncing off from that wall. Para ding reflection ng sa mirror. Diba? Pag, pag nakaharap ka sa mirror, makikita mo yung reflection mo. Kasi kung ano man yung nasa harap mo, yun yun yung bumabalik sa nakikita mo. That's reflection. Now, sound travels also that way. Pag nakabangga si sound ng isang barrier, babalik yung sound sa'yo. And in that case, when you talk about your reflection, we call that one the bouncing back of the sound. Ano tawag dun? Try nyo ba ito sa open, kwan, open area? Whenever you shout? What does it mean when you talk about reflection of sound? Hmm? Sir, echo. Echo. No? Pag nagsalita kayo at bumalik yung sound ng sinasabi nyo, that's actually a reflection of sound, which is your echo. When there are multiple echoes now, we call that one your reverberation or simply your reverb. Uh, this is usually used by mga sound engineers. Alright. When you talk about this time, no, your reflection is simply yung pagbabalik ng sound. But there is another phenomena of sound is what you call your refraction. The bending of sound. Pwede palang mag-bend si sound. Can you imagine sound bending? Traveling tapos nagbabend? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Alright, sound bends when there is a temperature differences in the air. Sa araw kasi, mainit sa baba, malamig sa taas. Yung hangin. Pag sa gabi naman, baliktad. No? Malamig sa taas, ah, mainit sa taas, malamig sa baba. Kaya nangyayari dyan, nagbe-bend si sound. Kasi nga sa differences ng init ng hangin. Alright? Alright. Let me leave you with this question. Bakit kaya yung mga concert natin sa gabi ginagawa? Bakit kaya most of the concerts, gabi siya ginagawa, hindi araw? Anybody would like to try and guess this one? Sir, kasi mas malakas pag gabi. Malakas pag gabi. Mm, Sir, not, not exactly. Oh, say, yes, because, sige, continue. Sir, because they, no ngay, they... <laughs> sige, continue lang. Sige lang, okay lang dahit ah. Ako ma-explain. Sir, mas na, kwa ngay, they sound nurabita, mas ma <laughs> Sige lang, sige lang, sige lang. Nya ba tinawatam? Agbebend mat dai tawen agpaiso. Nurabi eh. Nya timang mangyari. Sir, mas ma cold day temperature, tas hmm. mas ag day sound. All right. Sige. When you talk about why are concerts usually done during the night and during the day, it's because of the differences of the temperature the night and the day. Sabi ko nga pag pag sa araw mainit sa baba, mata, malamig sa taas yung hangin. Pag sa gabi naman, malamig sa baba, mainit sa taas yung hangin. So, anong nangyayari? Nagbe-bend ng parang ganito. Can you see now the screen of how it bends? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ito, nasa taas na picture, ito yung sound na nangyayari pag sa araw. Mainit yung hangin sa baba, malamig yung hangin sa taas. So, ano nangyayari dito? Itong nagtutumpeta, itong tao ito, Alam natin na mas malak mabilis mag-travel si sound sa warm kaysa kay cold. ba? Kasi sabi ko nga, mas mabilis sa mainit kaysa sa malamig. So, ano mangyayari dito? Mabilis na magta-travel. Mabilis, 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 mabilis. Tapos tumama doon sa cold air. Ano mangyayari? Bumilis o babagal? Babagal. Babagal. So, nangyari doon, mabilis, 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 biglang bumagal, nag-curb up si sound. Nag-bend up yung sound. Ito pag sa araw. Pero sa gabi naman kasi, baliktad din. This time, when it's during the night, cool air is at the bottom and warm air is at on the top. Anong nyayari dyan? No? Sound will travel in the warm air very, very fast. Pa Sige, mabilis, mabilis, mabilis. Pero kasi si cool air nasa baba, what happens is slows down and therefore, the sound will bend going down. Nakita nyo na difference ngayon ng, uh, ng, 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 ng sound travel during the day and during the night. Nakita niyo dito, yung aso na ito, tulog. Kahit merong nagtutumpeta dito. Can you see? Can you see that one? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, di ba? Kasi it curves up. Therefore, hindi pumupunta doon sa dog yung sound. Kasi nga ganito yung setup ng hangin pag araw. Pero pag gabi, nasa warm air sa taas, si cool air na sa baba, the sound, the bending of the sound will curve down. 
and directly that sound will go to the dog and that dog will hear that the person who is doing uh, playing his trumpet ganito din ang nangyayari pag nagko-concert sa gabi Diba, usually, kat nasa stage yung mga nagko-concert, tapos audience nasa baba. Tama? Yes, sir. Diba, ganun? Yes, sir. So, yes, syempre, sir. Pas, para mas ma-appreciate mo yung banda or yung concert, mas gusto mo na yung sound diretso sa'yo na, na, na naririnig mo. And that's the reason why concerts are done during the night is because it bends down directly to the audience. As compared during the night where in the sound curves up or bends up, hindi mo masyadong ma-appreciate yung sound. Now, do you get the point now of refraction? Gets nyo na ba? Yes. Alright, so, yan na yun. Oh, tapos na tayo. <laughs> so, yan na yung mga activities nyo na ihahabol nyo for next week. Uh, discuss tayo ng Tuesday, ano? Tuesday last before we're going to have our Our, our vacation starting on Thursday, Sat Friday, Saturday, yon. So, mag-discuss pa tayo sa Tuesday if okay lang? Yes, sir. Yes, right, sir. Mas, uh, with the, the one that you have right now, these activities right now, you can actually now, squan ito, uh, do this one. Uh, your kite kasi is related to your law of motion, the three laws there. And I have questions there aside from making the kite, kung which among the three law does Does it affect for making the kite fly? So, alin sa tatlong law ni Isaac Newton doon ang nagpapalipad sa kite? Is it the first law, the second law, or the third law? Alright, so, pwede nyo na ito. Madali lang itong activity 1. Si activity 2, madil, madali lang din ito. Tapos si activity 3, ito yung nakabasag ng kwan, nakabasag ng baso. So, yun, may answer lang kayo. Tapos self-assessment, this is about sound, I think. Baka pwede na yung first self-assessment. So, paano kayo mag-pass? Sa akin kasi, meron yung iba nagpa-pass lang isang bagsakan. Okay lang din yun sa akin. Pero meron din yung ibang nagpa-pass through online na pag natapos kayo agad, pasan nyo agad through my email or through my messenger, okay din yun. So, as soon as you finish one, you can you can, you can can pass it right away. Huwag nyo nang hintayin yung deadline. Alright? But I will deadline this one maybe next week. Maybe Friday next week if you are not busy with the vacation. Yun. So, kahit Friday next week ito. Okay lang ba? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Alright, so, medyo nag-overtime na ako. Um, lampas na ako ng 2 minutes, so hindi ko na kayo i-kwan. But before that one, meron mga mga tanong, questions? None, sir. None sir, so, a while. None so far. So, kung wala, I will not hold you longer because I'm also hungry na. <laughs> so, I will be sending the copy of this activity, uh, of the PDF of this one sa GC natin for you to have something to work on or to record on. Alright? So, yun. And maybe, kung wala nang tanong, then let's call it a day. Thank you very much for for joining this class. Once again, I'd like the next time. Sana ganito din tayo kadami next time. Alright? So, once again, I'll be ending this one in five seconds. Thank you very much for Thank your you, joining. Thank you, sir. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.